Hello everyone, my name is Walia and I am student of Asia Pacific University, Malaysia. I wanted to show you guys how our university looks when there are holidays in APU. Because we are having year end break and the university is completely empty. So do you want to see that? Come, let's go. So, this is the waiting area for the people who live off campus. So, if you if you want to go to One South, Fortune Park, or LRD, you can take the bus from here, and the bus will come over here, and you will wait inside the room. So, guard will inform you that the bus of LRD is here. Then you will go make a queue, and you will be in the queue, and you will go to whatever station you want to be in. All right, let's go inside. See guys, this is our cat of APU and this is very friendly, but she's sleeping right now. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Come on, let's go. So we have entered. APU. So from here, the whole campus has begun. That is the A block. It is closed, obviously. That is the A block. A block is mostly for the people of masters, but this is like a general A block. You can go and study over there. There is auditorium three, and you can go and stay there and study till six to seven p.m. No, let's go. Here start the student services. Anything related to the administration, you have to go to the student services and you will ask them and there will be different departments like accommodation or student affairs or anything related to your documents or visas, you will ask there. This is the B block. All the floors over here are B block. So they have closed it for now. But these are all the um, projects the students have done so far in APU. So when it will be open, I'll show you afterwards. These are the labs over here in B block. Oh, we can show you the project of this one, like the car. These are all labs, engineering labs, basically. Only engineering students can come over here and perform different experiments related to their modules. So obviously they're closed and we cannot go inside and explore what things are inside the labs. I can only show you from outside. We have a lot to see. This is the green area. You will be able to sit over here when the weather is really good. Now this is the D block. If your classes are going to hell in D block, then you have to go to this building. Come on, let's go and see the cafeteria. This is the atrium. 
all the videos everything please over here they show the campus life over here the hostel life over here and then it starts the then there starts the cafeteria this is the main bank atm if you want to withdraw the money and to buy something in apu you have to top up your card we have given a card student card you have to insert it and then you will top up your amount bring it into it and then you can purchase anything you want to purchase in apu cafeteria you can purchase with cash as well but they prefer tp cards these are the masjid these are for girls and next one is for boys This is the cafeteria. Everything is under construction right now because they are inputting different cameras over here. This is the Korean and Chinese one. This is the Soro. This is the Korean and Chinese one. If you are, if you are like Chinese or Korean, you can purchase from here. Other people can also uh, taste that. But for me, it is really sweet. Then there comes the Kopi Tiam. I like their food and especially buttermilk chicken. So, so let's go to this place. This is under construction right now. But they have the best things. They get the, they got the shawarmas over here and roti chanai over there. But the food is really good over here and the cheapest one is the roti chanai. We will explore it afterwards when the campus will be open, you know. This is the Malay and Indian one. And you can get the fresh juices over here. So in this video, I'm only going to show you the APO campus. But in the next videos, we will see how the competition looks and what are the other benefits they are given to the students. So this is the uh, new coffee place. It's quite expensive for us, but still the quality is worth it. But it's closed now. This is the main sitting area where students sit. The hostels will meet mostly. But yeah, university students also sit here. Now this is the new Bila Bila Mart. Uh, we uh, had one mart over here in APU, but that closed. That mostly closes at eight around eight. But this mart uh, opens till. 3 a.m. So yeah, it is a good thing for the hostel people because they want to eat something or if they want to buy something they can purchase from here. Here comes another cat. This is a black cat. He's also very friendly. So this is the residential lounge. It usually opens in the working days. It usually opens at 6 p.m. because this uh, lounge is for students only, for the hostel students only and they don't open it for the university student. So for holidays, they have opened it for a whole day. And these are the hostels. There are four different buildings. Uh, this one is J1, J2, and K1, K2. This one is K1 and K2. So they are constructing some wall over here. I don't know what are they building, but there is some kind of wall they are separating the hostels from the uh, university. And they are building accommodation office over here. So yeah, this is it. So I hope you liked my video and you liked the empty APU campus. So I'll show you the hostels afterwards. And for now, that is all. Thank you so much for watching my video. Like and subscribe my channel. Bye-bye.